and we are on and we are live and let me just say my hands are free this time yay <laughs> <laughs> hello everybody um i am calvina here with creating awareness for christ here with the awesome the multi-talented um what else can i say um i don't know it's just so much to describe my brother Cavante carthron yay with um god work foundation and before I get started, remember this month, this month, May 2016, Creating Awareness for Christ is celebrating one year of internet ministry. Yay, hallelujah to God be the glory. Yeah. And so as a result of that, I wanted to share with other ministries who are also creating awareness for Christ in their own way. And what a perfect example here with God Work Foundation. Um, I don't know if she can see my, my t-shirt. I think she got it in frame. Yeah, this is what we do. <laughs> supporting, supporting the ministry. So, yeah, that's big. I, yeah, absolutely. So I just wanted to talk with um, Kabate and let's learn a bit more about God Work Foundation. I'm excited about it. I was on the website and I was like, man, there's so much going on. So, I mean, where do you begin? Tell me about the foundation. Um, well, the foundation itself, so God Work Foundation is basically, um, it's a purpose-driven volunteer organization, mm -hmm. and we integrate good works with education and technology and entrepreneurship. And this is for disconnected youth and disinvested communities. So I was born on the south side of Chicago and grew up there, and we didn't have a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we didn't have a lot of mentors, mm -hmm. but none of that. So uh, this is kind of my way of, of reaching back. And, and, and doing my due diligence, that God work, which is based off Ephesians 2.10. Yes, yes, Ephesians 2.10. You, you, you got it? You got it in your psyche? What, what's Ephesians 2.10? Let's share it with the world. All right. Ephesians yes. 2.10. For we are his workmanship, mm -hmm. or handiwork, whichever version you got, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which mm -hmm. God prepared beforehand for you to do. So I also get this question, too, a lot. What's that? They say... Um, People ask me, they say, um, well, why didn't you do God works, you know, with the S as opposed to God work? Mm, mm -hmm. And I said, you know, that's very interesting. I said, well, when you think about God's work or God works, mm -hmm. those are kind of two different things. Yeah, yeah. When I look at God's work, mm -hmm. his work is us, mm -hmm. his creation, his creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the earth, mm -hmm. the world, the horizons, the mm -hmm. expansions, you know, the yeah. water, all these things. But when you look at God work, mm -hmm. that is what he created us to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, so, yes. Wasn't that inspirational, y'all? Did y'all did y'all get that? God's work versus God work. Oh my lord, that's that's awesome. That is an awesome Thank way you. to put that. Um, so you talked about your your growing up uh, without a lot of resources. And would you say that that was your inspiration to start God Work Foundation? I, I, I would definitely say it was a, a series of events. Okay. Let's talk know, about just, that. Just through, through life, period. Yeah. So, I mean, we'd probably be here all night long. We're talking <laughs> about a series of events to get where I'm at. But, yeah. you know, it definitely starts, you know, at home, how you're raised and the mm -hmm. things you see. And, you know, especially if you're not even saved or if you didn't come from a background of, uh, Christianity or yeah. belief in God or anything, you mm -hmm. know, so it's kind of like you're traveling this road of life and you're picking up different rocks and you're, you're putting them in your basket trying to figure out, okay, well, which one do I use here or there? Mm -hmm. So um, I got saved at the age of 24, so I knew good and well what I was doing Amen. at that time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, it wasn't nothing that was influenced to me, but it was a series of events that led up to that as well. So... Um, but God work that was formed over the last two years, about two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I went to a men's conference at our church, Harvest Church Plainfield. Shout out to Harvest Church Plainfield. <laughs> I love them people that I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love the plugs. You Gotta do it. <laughs> so, but um, it was interesting to me because it was an all men's gathering, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're talking about a young man who never had a mentor or anything in that nature or, or just was around men, okay. real men doing okay. real men things and praying together and crying together and, you know, all these things. Well, I didn't know all that was going to occur, but, mm -hmm. you know, I, I said, you know, let's go. My wife, she was like, you know, you need to go to this. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, I'm game. So mm -hmm. we went and it was just the most 
You know, it was fasting, it was prayer, it was worship. It was a lot of things that you don't see typical men doing, especially yeah. typical men in our community. Sure. You know, and um, it just, it blessed my soul. We was there for the whole weekend. And when I came back, I read Ephesians 2.10 and it mm -hmm. consumed me. Mm. It was kind of like mm. know, the word becoming flesh. Yes. And so I just began to piece little things together. I didn't rush it. And, you know, we started off with a T-shirt. It was just like a movement, really. We I came home. I was talking to Michelle about it. And Michelle's my wife, by the way. So, <laughs> <laughs> And she's the camera woman at this time as well. And she's also a co-founder as well. So, mm -hmm. but, <laughs> yeah, she is. We gonna turn it around on her in a minute, but go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, we, it was just about the t-shirt idea to kind of create awareness. Basically, is what it was. Mm -hmm. That's all it was—a simple idea to create awareness, a cause mm -hmm. to get people to understand that hey, you was put here to make something or someone better. Yes. You know, and how do you get about that? Because sometimes you can get so caught up in what's my purpose? What's my mm -hmm. purpose? Talk if you just keep it, it kind of simple mm -hmm. and know that you was here to make something or someone better, mm -hmm. that makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And you gather your tools and whatever you do in your career and all these things. And that just helps you go further in whatever it is you make it better. So the shirt design came out. I was drawing all these little designs like, oh, let me make this. Uh. And I drew them out and I sent them to our, uh, Graphic artist and uh, shout out to my graphic artist, Chris Brown. <laughs> That's my cousin, by the way. But anyway, so uh, <laughs> right. you said we do shout, so we, we have to. It's, it's necessary. <laughs> but so I, I sent him a, a few mock-ups of drawings that I that I really liked, and Michelle was, you know, was like, okay, well, let me like this one. Mm -hmm. So we waited for all of them to come back. We sat and we kind of looked at all of them, and it was kind of like, oh no, this one, not like that one. And so when we first got it, it was just really. It was it was minus the bars, minus the little saying. It was just just a hashtag and God work, work right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, let's uh let's do a little trial. Let's do a test. Yeah. I didn't know what I was testing. <laughs> I was just, like, just put it on something and, yeah. and, and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And so we I ordered some shirts. I had one for everybody in the family. All <laughs> five of us had one, right? Yeah. And it was just a, and it was a lot smaller than this too. It was probably maybe about that big. And just mm -hmm. said God work hashtag God work right there. And it was. On my chest, and we went down. Uh, we was in the Gold Coast area in Chicago, and mm -hmm. this lady came up to me. She was like, "I really like your shirt." Mm -hmm. And I looked at her. I'm like, I looked at my shirt, yeah, and I was like, "Got oh, you swear. Wow. <laughs> you, know, I was, you know, I was like, "Wow." But the thing that was tripped out about it to me is because, you know, when you talk about um, just the state that we're living in right now, when you're talking about you know, blacks and whites, not getting the longest bunch and, and mm -hmm. things of that nature and this was a this was a white lady mm -hmm. you know and she walked up to me and it just was like wow you know that really impressed me because it was like you looked beyond, beyond my the, color mm -hmm. and i said wow so we continued on about the day and then um there was a a, a young african-american male mm -hmm. young guy um, he was our waiter and he asked me about god work he was like you know that's that's nice i like that and so that was like the second time. So I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. Then so we traveled back out to the Burbs and then we was getting some ice cream or something. Mm -hmm. And then there was a, there was a, a young lady. Um, she was she was like a teen. Mm -hmm. And um, she asked about God work. So here it is, I'm getting all these different cultures. Demographics, I, different. Yeah, yeah. demographics. Yeah. You know, it's asking about it. And I said, mm -hmm. wow, this is, this, is, this is exciting. You know, mm -hmm. it's a... It's a Be conversation some. piece, mm -hmm. you know, so me and the wife, we took it back home and, you know, we thought about it and then we said, all right, I mean, and keep in mind, like, we didn't have nothing to even start this at sure, all. Sure. And God, I mean, he made it happen. Amen. And we started off, you know, probably, I mean, we did some pre-orders, so like 50 shirts and that, that funded everything. And then from there, it just kept growing and growing and growing and the questions kept coming. You know, what is God work? So at the time you thinking it's not this multifaceted thing that I described to you yeah. at the beginning of our conversation. It was just creating awareness, mm -hmm. you know, originally. And it just began to grow, you know, month after month. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you're reading and, you know, you're observing different things and you figure, okay, well, how can I make an even bigger impact? Mm -hmm. You know, and so my wife and I, we sit down and we talk about those <laughs> things. And you know, it's just a blessing to be used, you yeah. know, and. To, to really just ride that fine line of, you know what, I'm not going to control this. I'm going to let God be God. 
And that's, yes. you know, that's not an easy thing. Say it. You know what I mean? Say it. Mm-hmm. But he's been, you know, he's been more than wonderful you know, <laughs> in my life. I've been learning to just, you know, experience, enjoy, and extend the goodness of God in my life. Mm, I like that. Them three E's. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I'm kind of <laughs> good. I'm, I'm kind of good with those. kind of lyrical, you think? You know yeah. 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 We'll get to that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, that's awesome. And I... And I can piggyback to your testament to people walking up to you, yeah. asking you about the t-shirt, because I just had that happen to me today. I was telling um, Michelle, again, she's the camera woman <laughs> and the wife, co-founder of God Work. Okay, did we say that already? Um, somebody in the nail salon walked up to me too. Actually, they misread the shirt. However, it still was a conversation piece right. when they realized and said, God Work, well, what is that? So I actually, eat, you know, had to explain myself what God work is. And she was just like, wow, that, you know, that's pretty cool. And she, you know, um, thanked me for explaining and whatnot. So the word is definitely getting out there. It's way out there as far as I can tell. Um, a growing, growing ministry. Yeah. 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 It's exciting to see. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, I mean, you, you're doing so much work and you don't take the time to kind of step back and see where you come. So, like, when you reached out about, you know, collaborating and, and creating the awareness and talking about the foundation, I was like, wow, mm-hmm. I guess we did make it somewhere. <laughs> you know, I had to stop for a second. Yeah. It's like, you know, just smell the roses, the freshness of the air, like, wow. You know, That's it. Is- yeah, God is really blessing the work of y'all hands, you know what I mean? And sometimes, like you said, we don't realize how much is being returned to us, but God is moving whether we see it or not we don't know the impact all of the impact that you know your ministry is having or my ministry is having we just got to keep moving forward and doing the work doing doing God work (laughs) just got to keep doing it just got to keep doing it um so I was you know like I was saying I was on the website last night and I was really getting excited because I'm like this is so this is um awesome awesome foundation so many moving parts so many components and I know you talked a little bit about it um in the beginning but what are the like the core components of God work? Uh, well, the core components are mm-hmm. good works, mm-hmm. technology, okay. and entrepreneurship. Okay. So when you think about good works, you know, everybody has their own explanation of it. And then you know when you get with the Sadducees and the Pharisees and all <laughs> them, you know they're like, oh, you can't do the good work, you know. So you get it gets a little deeper than that. But to just simply explain the good works, it's just. Making something or someone better with no hidden agenda. Mm. That's a good work. Mm. You know, like you know. That. Sometimes people want to do something good because they want what somebody to know, mm. right? You know, what I'm saying mm. what I'm gonna get in return. Mm. So that's just simply good works. And then when you talk about technology, you know, technology is big right now. Oh yeah. You know, it's <clears throat> you take technology out of a lot of things. You know, we wouldn't be sitting here. We you wouldn't be able to see us live. And mm. you know, there's a lot of different things that you can do. You know, within technology. And I think. Um, because like I said, we do it in uh, disinvested communities with disconnected youth. And when you talk mm-hmm. about disconnected youth, you're talking about youth that are not in school or working. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and for our community, that's a, a very large amount, especially between the ages of 16 to 24, when you start looking at the demographics. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so we're using that technology piece as a tool, you know, to, um, to basically give them some skills, some, some concrete uh, hope. Mm-hmm. You know, to say, you know, if I come out of here with some different skills and I, and I know some things and I can be, you know, of value to somebody, you know, they can go out and do their own God work in mm-hmm. whatever way that they choose to. Right. You know, and the entrepreneurship piece is um, just the type of person that I always was. You know, I didn't know that's what I was, but, you know, I'm more of a social entrepreneur. But you get into entrepreneurs, you know, mm-hmm. it's it's all different types of definitions of what an entrepreneur is. Okay. And a lot of people think an entrepreneur, oh, it's just somebody okay. that owns a business. Own business. Mm-hmm. It's not just mm-hmm. that, you know. Um, actually, it's somebody just manages or takes or starts up a business and with considerable amount of risk, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> because mm-hmm. there's no uh, guarantee that this idea is going to work, mm-hmm. you know, and there's a lot of moving pieces with that. But I'm more of a social entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. So basically, what I do is I, I find social issues or social problems that was going on. So like I said, I always refer back to our, our young people, you know, the disconnected youth from disinvested uh, communities. Mm-hmm. And that's a social issue, you know, and it's getting worse and worse. You know, you know, I'm reading articles in Crane and, you know, even over in other states. And it's just talking about how our youth are so disconnected with mm-hmm. what's going on. Mm-hmm. And so that's, you know, the, the, the purpose and the focus, you know, of God Work Foundation, you know, mm-hmm. in that particular aspect. 
Mm-hmm. And you know, when you allow them to be exposed to these resources, you begin to teach them certain things. You know, they they know more and they can do more mm-hmm. and they can do better. Yeah, yeah. So, they and they desire that. So um, yeah, I know I do. Yeah, right, I, <laughs> right. And you know, I must say, you know, Kavante is not just lip service. This is not lip service for him. He is actually in the community doing things with the community. Um, I know that you were doing some work, or it still is, with the Salvation Army. Yeah. You want to talk about that? So, yeah. That started off with, uh, it was called Beyond the Ball, mm-hmm. right? And so what we do is uh, we go up there and we play basketball with the kids and, um, I say kids, but, you know, just younger, younger people. people. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was mainly, it was male, it was male specific. Mm-hmm. And so whenever you had somebody new, they would come and kind of share their story. So when I got there, I kind of shared my story, where I was from, where I came from, the things I did, and who I am now. Mm-hmm. And that was just like a light bulb for a lot of them. It was like, wow, you made it out of Chicago? Yeah. You know, you got a wife, you got three kids, you <laughs> right. got a job, you right. got a job, you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. So a lot of these things, you know, even sometimes I have to step back and look at myself and say, wow, I am a walking miracle. You know what I mean? And I, sometimes I don't think about it because yep. it's just so natural. You yep. know, it's something that I trained myself and I fought for very hard. It takes work, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And so it was an inspiration. And so we have this little 15-minute discussion, whether it's either before or after we play and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, it, was, it, was, it, was, it did a lot of good mm-hmm. you know, at that time when we was doing it. So I really enjoyed it for, for the time that it expanded out. Mm-hmm. And so... Now, I mean, we plan to partner with the Salvation okay, Army to yeah. kind of bring some things that God work is doing as well. Yeah, with them. yeah. Because a lot of that was, you know, it was it was more around basketball, and I kind of want to give them a little bit more, more. than just mm-hmm. playing ball because everybody ain't gonna make it to the league. No. <laughs> you know, being real. Yeah, yeah. I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yep. So. But yeah, that was awesome to see that, witnessing that through your website and whatnot. So, like I said, not lip service, really hands-on and really care about the people and the community. So, speaking of the communities or, com- you know, the community, what community do, what does God work serve? What community does God work serve? Well, at this particular time, we're going to be focusing on the east side of Joliet. So, that uh-huh. was where I built a lot of relationships with a lot of the young people at um, and just the, the resources that we have and the people that are on our board. Um, you know, they know a lot of different people within that community. So we're trying to get into a re- really good location and make it easy for the young people to get to the facility. So we're mm-hmm. looking for space right now. So like okay. you said, it's ain't lip service. Mm-hmm. This ain't mm-hmm. just talking. Mm-hmm. And we want to make it easy for them. Hop, skip, and a jump, come right on over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't got no excuse. Right, we're right here. Exactly, right here. So, mm-hmm. you know, people say, well, you know, can't you do it around your own neighborhood? Well, you know, my neighborhood isn't a disinvested right. community. The need isn't here. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. And I want to show them, you know, that, hey, this this is real. Somebody is authentically reaching out to you. And I, I tell a lot of them, I'm straightforward with a lot of them a lot of times and say, I could be doing something else. Mm-hmm. I said, I have a wife. I have three daughters. Mm-hmm. I said, but I care about you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. that's why I'm here at this moment. Yeah. So, and that. Sometimes it, it, it registers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you have to be, you know, frank and blunt you yeah. know, with a lot of the kids. And they say, wow, you wow. Know, like, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's the, right now it's the east side of Joliet, and we plan on expanding. So, God work is not going to be something where it's just we're right here. That's you it. You know what I'm saying? That's uh-huh. it. We're not going anywhere mm-hmm. else. But you have to do, you know, your, your test pilot. You got to look at your demographics. You know, you got to look at the uh, programs and everything that you're offering. You got to cater to your neighborhood. Volunteers, mm-hmm. you know, it's a lot that goes into having, you know, a, a nonprofit organization. Mm-hmm. So, and we realize that we're just taking it one step at that's a time. That's it. That's it. Yeah, and let the Holy Spirit lead it. That's the only yeah, way. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, I know that you're passionate. I know that Michelle is passionate about this ministry. What makes you most excited about God Work Foundation? So many, so <laughs> many moving parts. Mm-hmm. It's just the um. I would say the seeing God be God, Mm. you know, because a lot of times you don't take the time to really see God be God. Like he's done so much and he's progressed it so far Mm. and he's taught me a lot through this process because when you talk about, you know, uh, 
being an entrepreneur, I had several entrepreneurial ventures before this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And where are they now, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it's just like this one is, you know, it's allowing me to be who I am as a person, mm -hmm. as a man, as a husband, you know, a brother, a, a, a community leader, whatever you want to call it, yes. all that, that good stuff. Yes. And, and God is teaching me a lot, you mm -hmm. know, through it all. Mm -hmm. So it's just seeing God be God in this situation because, you know, God work isn't um, mine or my wife's. It's it's God's. It's, it's God's. His. It is, you know what yes. I mean? So it's it's His baby. He birthed it. He just you know seen it fit to choose my wife and I to spearhead the initiative. Yeah. You know, so. Mm, you say that to God be the boy, but have me go in right now. No, to God yeah, be the no glory. Out, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're like, we're gonna finish this. Right, we're gonna finish. We're gonna go. finish. Wow. But that was just so powerful. Oh my God. Just because it's all about him. It's all about yeah. him and and um never want to take the focus off of God, hence the term. <laughs> God work. It's all about him. Yeah, all about him. It's, mm -hmm. um, like I say, seeing God be God, it's, it's a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of things will come and it, it, it really tries to snatch your faith. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of times when we're looking at things, people think, oh, the devil, you know what I'm saying? He's poking holes in my tires and <laughs> he's not doing that. Uh, you know, but it's really, it's, it's an attack. It's, it's after our faith. Mm -hmm. You know, what do we believe? What do mm -hmm. we stand for? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure we all deal with some things, you know, but we got to know that the work that we're doing does not go unseen. That's it. You know? That's it. Yeah, that is it. This ain't no gimmick. No gimmick. <laughs> no gimmick. So what, what What? do we have to look forward to with God Work Foundation? What can we look for in the future as we wrap this up? Um, hopefully. <laughs> prayerfully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, um, you see God work in a community, mm -hmm. you know, near you or mm -hmm. You will know more about it or, or want to get more in tune and, and, and want to be a part of it and, and be able to, you know, help us push the word out even more. You mm -hmm. know, I just look forward to the development of, you know, our communities and just seeing God be God in the whole thing. And so those people who never even believe. So this is not you don't have to believe in anything mm -hmm. to come do something with God. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. come right where you are. And you can just experience the relationship where we at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and I can guarantee mm -hmm. your life will be changed after mm, that. Mm, mm, mm. Love that's, it. That's just where we at with it. Yes. So, how can we get in contact <laughs> with, how can we become a part of okay. God Work Foundation? Tell the folks how they can get a hold of you. Um, well, you can definitely go to the website. It is GodWorkFoundation.org. Mm -hmm. So, God no S, work, <laughs> no S, foundation. So GodWorkFoundation.org. Just trying to be thorough and clear. You Once you get there, um, a lot of times people want to send contact to me. Um, you can do uh, make a difference at GodWorkFoundation.org. So that'll email right to us. And um, if you have any direct questions or anything like that. Also, um, supporting. A lot of times people ask, well, how can we support your organization? Mm -hmm. She supported our organization. <clears throat> T-shirts, depends on what time of the year it is. We got sweatshirts, we got hoodies, we got polos, mm -hmm. we got scub cap, whatever you need, we got it. <laughs> and that's for sure. Mm -hmm. and so that that's not, you know, uh, something that's taken lightly. We appreciate you, you know, wearing the garments and, and, and expressing, you know, how you feel out loud as well. And that goes toward us doing more God work for the communities. So that's where we at. Y'all got that right. No S's. Y'all got that. That's really clear, right? <laughs> no S's. No S's. All right. Well, as we wrap up here, what is there any lasting impression, any last thing you want to say um, to the people while they're watching the viewers about God work, um, about God, about anything? Um, I would probably say at this particular moment, because I could probably say a lot and we'd be uh, okay. extending it right on it's now, fine. you know what I mean? It's fine. <laughs> but when you talk about ministries, mm -hmm. doing things together, I really appreciate the fact that you reached out mm -hmm. to, to even do this. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we take each other for granted, you know, it's almost like churches have become gangs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, we don't mess with them. And it, yeah, you know, it's yeah. like, uh, it's, it's not like that. You know, mm -hmm. just because we don't go to the same church or you know, we don't have the same pastor, whatever the case may be, 
those things shouldn't separate us. Come you know, on. we still one body. Come you on. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we should be helping each other strengthen, you know, the local body. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's what you're doing for me. And that's mm -hmm. what I hope that we're doing, you know, for you. And mm -hmm. we can do for others as well. So mm -hmm. don't take this lightly. You know, I, I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't really nothing about God work. It was just the fact of, you know, you doing God work. But <laughs> mm -hmm. really, you know, being a servant and, and connecting ministries together. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. well, amen to that. <laughs> what, what more can I say on that? Well, I will say this, guys. Thank you for tuning in for the live viewers, for the replay viewers. We appreciate you. Um, I will piggyback a little bit. What Kamante said, please support the ministry. Awesome ministry. Go to the website, buy the t shirts, buy the sweatshirts, the whatever else they got out there. It is so much, but it's a beautiful website. Take a look. If you can become a volunteer to help grow um, God Work Foundation, please, please do. It, it is necessary. We are all here, one body, as he said, um, doing the work unto God and for God. Amen. Amen. So God bless you all. We will see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Amen. Amen. amen.